Um, let's go for red first. Uh, looks like a primal dragon has appeared at a temple in the old city. Yet another odd location. Maybe the adept just happened to be there when they transformed into a primal dragon. It seems the security has been fully mechanized. Not exactly what you'd expect from a temple. If the dragon radiation also caused it to go haywire, this won't be a simple task. About to turn on my AC in a bit. It's starting to get warm in here. I don't have my little fan next to me either. Actually, my little fan's over there. I feel like it's gonna. I feel like the uh, microphone's gonna pick it up though. The temple's all the way up there. What a strange location for one. Higher altitudes are considered safer these days. Probably not safe for final dragons though. Even traditional buildings are constructed with modern defense systems, huh? Sometimes you even hear about famous historical buildings being forced to relocate. <laughs> I wonder if this gate was built with Suenaga tech. It's wide open. That must be the dragon's handiwork. Looking at it, though. That's a chain fire lamp. Hitting it with an arc chain should send us flying. Flying? I thought the chain lamps were supposed to be data terminals. The fire lamps are a new version that in Ninja! Keating, there's a ninja here! That's one of Sumaragi's anti adapt specialists. The arc chain won't be jacked for me here. If you can't take them down in one hit, just keep on attacking. Uh, this stone wall is really something. It's just like a castle. I heard it was built to make a name for the place and attract mm. visitors. I have my doubts about how yes. useful it really is. Even people at Shadow Yakumo Oops. don't have many nice things to say about this place. There was always something about how they spend yes. their money. Wow. Seriously? Very nice. I missed something over there. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> 
Why did this place need to be so high up? I'm worried about the situation inside the temple. Let's get in there. Before? Yeah, it was in the same lab you were in. Does the head priest have a screw loose? You do have a point. Even if it's in the name of security, they've chosen a different look. Ninja? We're not out here to play pretend, Gunvolt. Besides, neither of us have very ninja-like outfits. I don't know. You almost look the part, Keaton. Keaton's is close, but her outfit is too powerful. She stands out too much for a ninja. Hey, could you please just focus on the mission? There! More of those tasteless laser traps over here. Is someone collecting them? Even one of them is there! The final drop in the game is getting close and they're almost there! Let's make it just up here in the arch cave to get us there in a flash. We always seem to find. Boss time or boss time? What we got? Boss time. Kind of interrupt the gun vault there, but that's all right. You two must be the ones ruining all the peace and quiet around here. Huh? That was going to be my line. It's against my principles to raise a hand against women and children, but... Even if I want to show mercy, these muscles of mine won't allow it! My muscles, together with my duelist Septima, are gonna waste you! 
Come on, biceps! Here comes the pump! Attention, duelists. Let's fight like men! Oh, he's a pretty big guy. I know he's totally berserk and all. Maybe we should hear him out a bit. Our soul is trembling, and so are my backs! I was right to come to this temple to punish my muscles and put the perfect cap on my train. Every fiber of my massive muscles is twitching with ecstasy after meeting someone as strong as you! This is the true joy of training! You should go there and set the temple if you want to work on your physique. A man's true path of training leads to a waterfall outside a temple. I think his head is filled with nothing but muscles, too. Yeah, he's a perfect example of a meathead. I mean, it's probably because he's like a You don't like the unrefined way I talk, huh? Right now, all I'm here for is pure man-to-man -man combat! A collision of souls! Sorry, but I'm a woman. My duelist Septima and these muscles I sculpted for many years are a combination without parallel! If something can be destroyed, they will do just that! Okay, buddy. I'm sick of hearing about you. Let's settle this in the ring! Muscles, That's I'm gonna boss. shut that muscle okay. mouth of yours with my fetters! You're free to seal! Again? Attack was so strong it lagged the game for a second. <laughs> Hold up and press R. Nice. His hair is taunting you. If anybody knows that one. To lose myself in a rage like that, I, Cayman, will live with this failure forever. I swear on these muscles that I will make amends. Please, find a way, any way, for me to be of use. It wasn't your fault that you went out of control. If anyone's to blame, it's me. But if you still feel that way, you can do good by saving others who are going through the same thing you did. Gunvolt, you may look like a little puppy, but you have sharp eyes. Those eyes of yours have seen the path of training through to its conclusion. You are a true man. I, Cayman, swear that these muscles will serve you, even should my flesh and bone be ground to dust. Thank you. We'll be counting on you, Cayman. 
Now give it my all. Now, Gunvolt, my muscle brother. That extra manly hug for you. Too tight. Some warning would be appreciated. Gunvolt, you have exemplary hamstrings. Even for a beast like you. Hey, kitty. Don't just watch. Help. Wow, you two really are fast friends. That's great. Delinquent and his trusty dog. This would make an awesome movie. Seeing your hand-to-hand -hand fighting style inspired me to come up with a new sword technique, Cayman. I always say that taking on tough opponents is the best way to improve yourself. So, what's the technique like? If I hold up and press the attack button on the ground, I can do a jumping attack that's perfect for fighting airborne enemies. Oh! A drag punch! <laughs> oh, you can't just say that! Did they really just censor that? <laughs> <laughs> um, can, can, can we hear that again real quick? Can we hear that one more time, please? A drag punch! Thank you, game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, they they definitely got me with that. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. What is a... Uh... Yes, I'll take that. Ten thousand... Yeah. Okay, let's go for purple. Yeah, let's go for purple. So this mission is at Neptune, that massive marine distribution center. These primal dragons show up in the most wild places. Marine. What's the matter? Nothing. I just don't have fond memories associated with water. Is that so? If he's really thinking that far back, there's only like two instances where he was really in water? Jeez, it's really pouring. <gasps> Maybe we will take advantage of the rain and approach the primal dragon undetected. Well, I'm slipping, we're finished though. Even a pro swimmer wouldn't be able to survive in these waters. Alright, we'll just have to be extra careful. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
seems like the tanks floating around here are filled with flammable liquid. I don't think our attacks will damage them, but Take enemy that. explosives are a different story. We'll be in trouble if they destroy our footholds out of the open sea like this. We need to clear them out quickly, but we need to be extra careful. Kitty, if you lose your foot, don't hesitate to switch places with me. Getting even lower. Uh, I'm starting to feel sick. You're always sitting all over the place. That has nothing to do with seasickness. Fair enough. If you want, I can use my Azure Strike on your inner ear to relieve some of that for you. Uh, thanks, but I think I'll pass. That sounds pretty scary. It, it does? You know, GV, I heard that you hated water. I used to. Ever since my primal dragon transformation, I've been able to activate my Septima underwater. Oh, so that's why you hated it. I thought maybe you were just a bad swimmer or something. I'm trained in just about any skill that would be useful on a mission. I'm quite confident in my swimming ability. Come on. That's so boring. What do you want from me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just joking around. Yep. Damn, more patrol planes are showing up. That's one of Sumeragi's newest sequels. Looks like it's already out of control. Sorry. Hey, how many times do I have to tell you? You don't be so apologize. Don't be so you are one factor in the problem. Teamwork has gotten way better. <laughs> My adaptability is second to none. We should be able to use that to proceed. Just need to check before we get thrown off. I'll try to do that. This kid's got nothing on us. What is this? You should still watch your step. If you slip and spray your ankle, you're in big trouble. You don't need to worry about me. Still, I'll be careful. I'm totally drenched here. Also, make sure you don't catch a cold. Yeah, yeah, I'll be careful. Dad Bolt. What? You, you said it. Whoops. Did not see the fact that I could teleport down there. Could try me off real quick? Is that really any way to treat someone? Anyway, yeah, it could. Oh, so it can. Uh, uh, easy, easy. Uh, 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 
tell this warehouse was huge from the outside. I can still hardly believe how much space is in here. Sumaragi must have spent tons of money putting this fully automated distribution Last center together. You do much online shopping, kidding? Uh, I hate to admit it, but yeah, quite a bit. Shadow Yukumo is in the middle of nowhere, so it's basically like my lifeline. You have it pretty tough, huh? Oh man, poor girl. Yeah, especially when the dialogue gets really hey, good too. Only authorized personnel are allowed here. What's your name and who's your supervisor? Like they just go straight to talking about online shopping. I'm Kirin, battle priestess for Shadow Yakumo, on loan to Sumaragi's Dragon Saviors. I heard there was someone out of control here. As for the authorization, I'll get that later. Sumiragi, I wasn't informed of this. Have you no respect for proper business etiquette? Paperwork must be submitted months in advance before any outsiders can be allowed entry. Looks like it's now my job to beat some business sense into you. Will your eyes be able to keep up? Will you? You can't submit paperwork in triplicate. You can't be trusted in proper society before submission. Inform the recipient by email, and then confirm the timeline by phone. That's the most basic of basics. Commit it to heart! I'll bury you! I hate to break it to you, but we're a hands-on, in-the-field sort of company. So I couldn't care less about any of that. I can live without that entry level. Five years of experience needed stuff. I really don't need a family-like atmosphere either. I don't think that has anything to do with business. Where are you looking? can't believe this. Colson, are you forcing your subordinates to work unpaid overtime? To think the world-famous Sumidaki was fostering such a toxic work environment! A proper work-life balance leads to increased efficiency, and that be workforce beyond saving! I always thought our work environment was pretty good. They even provide room and board! Room and board? Employees work around the clock? Adding fuel to the fire, kitty. With managers like you, who needs competitors? See, there's no reasoning with you. I'm putting you on performance improvement plans. Putting us on moral judgments for a looking? moment? Society takes Take all this. kinds, you know? Having it. some amount of flexibility makes all the difference. If you're such a stickler for the rules, my rate... My last resort! Adam Fisher! and fetters will shake up your world! Your fate is sealed! Too slow! Too slow! Easy peasy! Here it comes! I'll crush you! This is... the end! Just try to follow! Uh, they sure did. He is fine. Very, very fine.
got a B for... Beautiful. More dogs. Can't wait to see what those do. Damn it. I'm appalled at how much trouble I caused the innocent people of the city. I, Apollo, sincerely apologize for my actions. To repay you for saving me. I wish to dedicate myself to assisting the Dragon Saviors. Sure, no problem. Kidding? Oh, we got a fresh face? <sighs> Come on, it's another dude. Apollo, how about we put you in charge of keeping an eye on the personnel? HR seems like a good fit for you. <laughs> Are you sure about good that? Good idea, Kidding. <laughs> You'd have a tough time keeping track of all the new staff by yourself. Very well. In that case, I'd like to fast-track some attitude adjustments for the cheeky one. Any objections? You talking about me? <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a hard worker. <sighs> Please protect that smile. Apollo, seeing the way you fight made me want to create a new move of my own. You have a keen eye, Battle Priestess. What sort of ability have you been practicing? If I press attack as I reload by pressing down twice quickly, I'll turn invisible and dash, getting myself closer to enemies in an instant. I see. And this came from watching me? Um, yeah, that's right. Maybe it's not my place to ask, but aren't you playing things a bit loose? N no way! I think everything through! Oh yeah, they had fun writing this. good to me. Uh, how about them skills? There we go. Oh, I still only have three. I love how they look in the background right now. Primal dragons are being awakened by dragon radiation. Because of me that yet another battle is happening. In the near future, adepts will wipe out humanity. According to Sumaragi's files, the lead researcher on the Septima Research Project apparently said this decades ago. Maybe that researcher knew something we didn't, that adepts would one day become primal dragons. That's true, this phenomenon was going to occur anyway with or without you. You're only at the center of it all because of some dumb bad luck. You got that? Either way, don't stress yourself out over it. We need you for this job because of what you can do, Gunvolt. Kidding. But you know, looking at you now, I guess all you can do is sit and shake, huh? Sheesh. Just whose fault is that again? There's a giant bag of protein on the counter over there. 